Hi there guys, welcome back to our orthographic projection of a geometric solid and uh, I'm going to basically continue on my previous version uh, or my previous video and straight away we realized that we needed to go ahead and take these views that I have over here and put them down on a flat surface. So straight away I know a, my horizontal plane has to be folded down flat because what you're going to be seeing in front of you is a flat flat sheet of paper and you would have to have uh, projected your uh, different views uh, onto each other. Right, so let's see how we're going to go about doing this. This is basically used for explanation purposes uh, so that you could see the actual solid shape in front of you and you can also see why we draw the kind of views we have from the different angles that we've been presented with. Okay, so we want to go ahead and go for the actual top view. Um, let's go and try and change that view for us. We're going to obviously going to be putting in the XY axes. Right, the XY axes and we must get the labeling correct please note that the xy axis that or axis that is running horizontally is simply labeled as x and y and the one that's running vertically is known as x1 y1 we have a 45 degree line over here so that when we do project from our top view to find our left side view over here and that across to that side over there at a, a 90 degree angle to that view or that line of sight we will be able to uh, find our accurate shape okay so enough of that let's go and hide a couple of these views Right. We also want to be hiding everything that's not going to be confusing us. And we want to go ahead and go and project our top view down. Now please note what I've done over here. I'm going to hide the actual shape because we have found the necessary top view using the shape. Now let's use the actual shape and simply fold it down. Please note that we are folding it down at 90 degrees. There's a 90 degree angle between these two uh, uh, planes and what I've done is I've taken each one of these points or the base corners and I've projected them down using a compass uh, from using this point over here as my, my pivotal point. Okay, so I'm going to be putting my compass in a, over here and I'm going to be scribing nice neat arcs onto my uh, vertical plane. All right, please take note. Each one of the corners have been projected. Right, this is just my method of getting that shape down onto the actual uh, vertical plane or we'll presented as uh, on the vertical plane, but it's still going to be your top view. Right, then when I join those corners, please note that whatever I have on the top over here, I now have at the bottom over here. And when I take the projection lines away, you'll see that I have exactly the same shape over there. And now when you are viewing your drawing, you'll see your top view and your front view over there. I'm just gonna clean it up a little bit I'm going to take this guy over here and I'm just going to hide it for the moment so we don't get confused. And now that line or that plane will also not be there because we've really folded it down, haven't we? There we go. It's now on a nice flat surface. So the question is, how do we find my left side view? When I look at my shape from the left, When I look at my shape from the left, what do I see? I see that. All right. I'm going to be showing the one that I do see. There it is there. Remember, that would have been on that left side uh, vertical plane. 
here it is there and I want to simply take this object and fold it flat which is obviously this plane over here I want to take that plane and fold it flat now there are two ways that I'm going to be showing you the one is exactly the same as what I've done over here I'm simply going to be taking those points across you'll see there we go those three points they have to be taken across onto the flat surface over here onto the actual vanishing point zoom that in a little bit for you and once I have found those three points I need to join them let me take it back a step for you there are those projection lines I have found the three points one two three so remember they coincide with these three points one two three And now I simply want to see the actual shape. Once I have actually joined the, those corners, joined the apex to the base corners, and I have the final view. There it is, my x, y axis, my 45 degree line, which I haven't used just yet because I'm just explaining to you how to go about taking it from this plane onto here. But in a moment, you'll see how we're actually going to be using this 45 degree line. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's hide this plane again. I also want to hide that guy, and I want to hide these projection lines. And my final shape okay so we're going to take it from square one again and we do however want that top view okay because we're going to be using these two views now we can only find this shape over here once we have actually got two views because I need height I need my width and I need a length of a specific view remember when I'm looking from a specific uh, or looking at a specific shape from a front I can't tell you how heavy that shape is yet if I turn the shape you'll then be able to see exactly well hang on this has got a certain depth to it it's got a certain mass you'll more than likely be able to tell me how heavy that shape is or how big that shape is or what kind of volume it probably or typically will um, contain right so therefore we need to have these two views to be able to get the third view so let's go ahead and find that third view via the projection, the actual orthographic projection. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start projecting. You'll see that I've taken the heart of the actual shape, which is my pyramid, and I've projected them across, straight across horizontally. I've then also taken each one of the points. Okay, remember that if I'm looking from the left-hand side of here, I'll see this point and that point being in line to be projected onto this 45-degree line. I'll take my apex, which is the middle of, or we'd like to say it's the, the middle of the shape, but it's not really because it's actually, uh, it's the center, all right, point that we're going to be working with. And we're going to be project, projecting that, that apex across to the 45 degree line. And so we're going to do that with a third base corner. Once we've done that, we want to project those points up at 90 degrees. You'll see that this angle over here, makes a 90 degree angle so does this one they all will have to and then what is very important to realize is we have this line over here that we're projecting now remember that one comes from the actual apex all right there's your apex point over there that's the heart of the apex that is projected across and we have this point found which is the apex in our top view projected across and up to find the apex in our left side view all right please don't forget about that once we have our points please remember that we will then join the points to find the shape but now there's a little problem over here 
the problem here is this line over here does it really get seen is there that line so let's bring the actual solid shape back into play and let's see if we are going to be seeing that little line so let's look at it from the left again I don't see a line going from the apex in the middle coming down here all right I see this line over here I see that line over there and I see that line over there that's three lines yet I have that line over there so remember this will be a construction line based to find your apex all right so we are literally going to go ahead and take that line away because that will be the final version that will be my left side view right over there please remember that all these lines that are projected will be in projection line or construction lines they will guide you to find the actual final shape all right let's see how we go about taking away what it would look like if I had to take away all my construction lines there we go and now I have found the front view the top view and the left side view it is all found on a flat surface let's quickly take the actual solid shape away right there we go I hope this was very helpful for assisting your understanding of orthographic projection and um, please comment or like our videos so we could actually help other people by uh, choosing the correct videos to watch. I hope this helped you and um, please stay tuned to watch more of my videos. Thank you very much.